Hey, we give you the facts. It's not what you think. Popeye News Link. Young King. One yard. Bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings. Greetings, viewers and subscribers. Golden Grove, St. Thomas people. Ensure that you check out Aska. Aska is right at the top of Golden Grove near to the cemetery. Aska sell on the roadside. They sell cane, jelly and other food product. He also sell soup. You see that pot of soup? Yes man, that's Aska production. St. Thomas people, ensure that you check him out and tell him that Papai sent you. So we are back on the road again. Continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to enjoy this journey with me. Now, today, I'm going to teach you some phrases or words we Jamaicans use and tell you their meanings. You might be having a conversation and you hear a Jamaican say, Beg you a talk off of the mic there. You know what that means? It means... Give me a chance to say what I want to say. You hear a Jamaican say, no bother me. It means, don't bother me. You might pick up something and then you ask, who does this belong to? Hear the Jamaican now? Afimi. It means, it is mine. When we Jamaicans say, give me a little tops, we are saying, we want just a small amount. You ask a Jamaican about someone and the Jamaican said to you, No, he is a general. It means he is a con artist. You on the road with a Jamaican and he points and him say, Kude. It means, look at that. You might hear a Jamaican say, Jesus on peace. You know what that means? <laughs> it means, oh my God. In Jamaica, father means father. Mada means mother. Iri means fantastic. So if you hear a Jamaican say, Am my Iri daughter that he's not talking about his biological daughter. He's actually talking about his girlfriend. You might hear a Jamaican say, Blows and skirt. That means one word. Wow. And finally, as a child, your parents warn you about something, but you are being disobedient. She tell you, don't climb the mango tree. You disobey her and you climb it and then you drop off. You cut your hand. When your mother saw it, hear her now? A good. <laughs> you know what that means? It means serve you right. <laughs> I hope you learned something today. Now, on to the news. This first incident, it took place broad daylight yesterday afternoon. Monday, December 5, 2022, about 1.30. It took place at a popular gadget store in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. The store, it is called Gadgets Nation and they are located on Barnett Street in Montego Bay. So, this is what we are learning. The female store manager, she was in the store when two hoodlums posing as customers entered the store. It is said that the two hoodlums, they were inquiring about a phone. The store manager she was in the process of assisting them when one of them brandished a gun and took down the store manager. The two hoodlums, they then proceeded to steal from the store over 40 brand new smartphones to include the latest models in iPhone, Samsung, LG, Motorola, OnePlus and Google Pixel brands. We are told that the total value for the phones that were stolen is over 2 million Jamaican dollars. They also stole over 800 US dollars in cash. The hoodlums, they then walked out of the store onto the busy Barnett Street as if nothing just happened. Making good, their escape. Just like that. <laughs> Boy, may I tell you, we are on to the silly season. We are on to the silly season. Be ye on the alert. Be careful. Be aware. Yeah, man, be aware of your surroundings. If you are going somewhere and you have any doubt at all, no bother go. Alright? Work with your intuition. Work with your instinct this Christmas. Yeah, man. Now, in this next incident, that man on your screen, 
His name is Jermaine McMahon, but he's popularly known as Bobby. Bobby is 27 years old and he's employed to DNG. Well, I'm not sure if the name of the company is still DNG or they have changed it to Pepsi or Red Stripe, but they are based in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. Bobby, he lived at Geneva District in Grangel in the parish of Westmoreland. So, Bobby, he's the owner for a black 2022 Cabra CG250 motorcycle. This motorcycle, Bobby ensured that it was licensed and insured. He used it to ride to and from Grangel to Montego Bay, to and from work. Yesterday morning, Monday, December 5, 2022, about some minutes to 9 o'clock, we are told that Bobby, he was riding his motorcycle to work. He was heading from Grangel towards Lucy direction. A brown Toyota Corolla motor car being operated as a taxi was coming in the opposite direction. On reaching a section along the Kingsville main road, near to the entrance of the Kingsville police station, it is said that Bobby, he ended up losing control of the motorcycle. As a result, it veered across to the other side of the road into the path of the Toyota Corolla. As a result, there was a head-on collision. Bobby, he was thrown from the motorcycle onto the asphalted main road. Bobby received serious injuries to his chest and his upper body. He was rushed to the Noel Holmes Hospital in Lucy, where Bobby, he was pronounced D-E-A-D -E on arrival. Sad indeed. We are told that Bobby, he was kind, he was humble, and he was a hard-working young man. Condolences to his family and friends. May his soul find rest. In this next incident, a 19-year-old bartender, she was stabbed and seriously wounded, and a 20-year-old female is in police custody. She has been charged with wounding with intent. This is after an incident that took place yesterday afternoon, Monday, December 5, 2022, about some minutes after 4 o'clock. It took place at Little Bay in the Little London Police Area in the parish of Westmoreland. We are learning that the 19-year-old bartender, she was walking along the roadway to a shop in the community when she was confronted by the 20 year old female. Her name is Todian Campbell and she lives in the same area of Little Bay. It is said that an argument developed between the two of them when Todian, it is alleged that she used a knife to joke the 19 year old bartender in her neck, causing a serious wound. The female who was stabbed, she was rushed to the Savannah Lamar Hospital where she was treated and admitted in a serious condition. We are also told that yesterday evening, Todian, she handed in herself to the Little London Police. As a result, she was arrested and charged and she will be going to the courts shortly to face a judge. In this next incident, one of two men is now facing 15 years in prison. This is after they were arrested and charged for illegal possession of ammunition. This resulted from an incident that took place yesterday afternoon, Monday, December 5, 2022, about 2.30. It took place at Chateau Road in the Froome Police area in the parish of Westmoreland. Now, this is what we are learning. A team of police officers, they were on patrol in the area when two men were seen traveling on a yellow Cabra motorcycle. This motorcycle had no registration plate affixed. The police, they intercepted the bike and signaled them to stop. They complied. Both of them were searched and bingo. The police found one box juice box containing 14 rounds of 9mm cartridges under the shirt of one of them. As a result, both of them were taken into police custody and we are also learning that one of them gave a caution statement to the police in front of two justices of the peace admitting that the illegal rounds belong to him. Both of them 
were subsequently charged by the police. So, let me explain something before I tell you who they are. Because you might be asking, why did the police still charge both of them, even though one of them admitted that the bullets belonged to him? Well, the police and the justices of the peace, they are not the court of law. Only a court of law can decide who is guilty or who is not guilty. When they are taken before the court, if the one who is claiming the rounds plead guilty, then the prosecution might say they are not offering any evidence against the next man. And then the judge might dismiss the case against him. You got that? So the two persons charged are one, one Fleming. His first name is spelt J-U-A-N. He is 29 years old and he is living at Hatfield in the parish of Westmoreland. And it is alleged that the bullets were found with one Flemings. The other one, his name is Timothy Thompson. He is 20 years old and he is living at Barham District in the parish of Westmoreland. So both of them, they'll be going to the courts shortly. And like I said, at least one of them is facing 15 years in prison. Leave illegal guns and bullets alone. Now, we carried a story on Saturday, December 3, 2022. And we told you about an incident that took place at Mount Erie District in the Orange Hill area in the parish of Westmoreland. The decomposing body of that female on your screen was found. It was found in a shallow grave behind her house. Her body was found on Friday morning, December 2, 2022, about 7 o'clock. She had stab wounds to her chest. Her name is Kerryanne Williams and she was 40 years old. Her boyfriend, Courtney Cooper, also known as Junior, he's the prime suspect in her death. Friday afternoon, the same day Kerryanne was found, the Negril police, acting on intelligence, they went to the Texaco gas station where Junior, he was seen and it is said that he ran away into the swamp. He has been on the run since. So when we carried the story on Saturday, we had asked the PNL detectives to send us photographs of Junior. And the PNL detectives, they have stepped up to the plate. On your screen is Courtney Cooper. He's also known as Junior. Junior was born on April 23, 1986. He is from St. John's Road in the parish of St. Catherine. Junior, he used to work with a security company based in Negril. It is said that he used to work at various locations in Negril. He also used to be based at Winners in Negril. We are also getting intelligence that at one stage, Junior, he was based at a location along the Negril Beach Road and he was accused of sexually assaulting a female guest. It is said that he ended up losing his job because of that allegation. So if you have seen Junior, he is a wanted man and harboring a fugitive is a serious crime. A word to the wise. The mayhem. The may so let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the thumbs up button as yet? Have you hit on the love button as yet? If you have not yet done so, Remember to do it. Also, if you are over here watching our videos and you have not yet subscribed, hit on the subscribe button. As also, hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. So, before we started recording this video, we received reports that a man, he was stabbed to death at Rosemount Gardens in the Mount Salem Police Area this morning. We are told that this man is well known in the area and he goes by the name Weedy. We are gathering the details and we'll be updating this story in a subsequent video. Stand by for that. In the final story for today, this one took place yesterday afternoon. Monday, December 5, 2022, about 4 o'clock. It took place at the intersection of Strand Street and South Street in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. We are learning that a man, we are told that his name is Junior Gabidan and he
he's from the parish of Sentan, but we haven't yet gotten any official confirmation. But this man is said to be in his late 40s or early 50s. He's about 5 feet 10 inches tall, of a dark complexion and slim built. He was dressed in a white long sleeve shirt and a blue jeans pants. It is said that Junior and a man, they were involved in a dispute. We are learning that this man, he pulled a knife and inflicted several stab wounds to Junior's chest and his abdomen. Junior, he fell to the ground and the man, he fled the scene, making good his escape. The police were informed and they arrived on the scene and they transported Junior to the Cornwall Regional Hospital where he died whilst being treated. The mayhem continues. Blessed love, everybody. Tell a friend, for tell a friend, for tell a friend about Papa in News Link and PNL Blog TV. Like, subscribe, and share. Quick silver sin. If we just unite, what a country this will be. If we just unite, Jamaica live in unity. If we just unite, what a country this will be. Murder, don't you be a bit me here, them a murder Cut it out, tell 